So by that trident, um, you will realise that we are in West Midlands, National Express West Midlands territory, but only just. We're actually in Wolverhampton today, and Wolverhampton being its own city, but being quite on the outskirts of Birmingham. Although it is served by National Express West Midlands, that's not the focus for this video. There is a video coming up on that very, very soon, so do look out for that one. However, this video is going to be taking a look at the services that go in, specifically the services run by Select Bus and Chase Rider. Chase Rider Park Centre Bus Interbus Holdings, all of that lot, up in Stafford. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make most of their duo um, £7 tickets where you can get two people on the Chase Rider, the Select Bus and the Midland Classic, although we're not doing Midland Classic Network here, we've done that in videos before. All of those um, operators um, around the Staffordshire um, and sort of Burton area and we're going to take a look at Select Bus and Chase Rider specifically and some of their best services, some of their most wacky buses to give you a good idea of the kind of network that Stafford has um, of all the different routes um, and all the different buses that you can jump on. So now we're waiting for the 877. The 877 runs twice a day and um, there's also an 878 um, that runs, a runs like about five times a day, five round trips. So we're going to do the 877 up to Stafford and the 878 back um, but in between hopefully we'll get some nice and different buses in between so hopefully um, some nice and um, older vehicles that you wouldn't expect were still around um, and sample some hopefully amazing routes. So we're going to cross over the road as the bus is due in about 10 minutes and I will see you all when it arrives. So it feels weird not getting on the Trident, although we're coming back for the Trident another day. Arvos is SK52 or JG, an ex Lovian SPD. It's been a very, very long time since I've had the pleasure of going on an SPD. With Select, a um, bus company based around the Staffordshire and Cannock region. So a lovely seat refurbishment on this. We have seen an old Lovian seat inside though, but it is still nice to see all the seats being refurbed. Very, very long buses as well. Wolverhampton on um, the direct road out of the city centre um, and this as I did say earlier is the 877 so the 877 although there are short workings on the 877 and 878 throughout the day around college times and stuff like that the full end-to-end -end service on the 877 only operates twice a day in each direction so there's a return trip around two o'clock on this however in between the 878 run and the last full run it is three o'clock um, going back from Stafford down to Wolverhampton, we'll hopefully be on that, other things might change, we may end up on something else, um, but hopefully um, the plan at the moment is to end up on that. And they take about just over an hour and a half in each direction as it is a long route. So we're currently still in the urbanised sort of area of North Wolverhampton, however we will be leaving West Midlands to go into Staffordshire and we'll be going on to the rural roads in between the villages that a bus like this SPD um, will be very, very nice along. And this SPD itself, absolutely, I'm a big, big fan of SPD. I'm very, very excited when this came around the corner. Um, this is, I believe, the only one operational with Select Bus now. Um, and he's one of the only ones operational in daily public service throughout the UK. Um, a lot of these loathing ones are withdrawn due to sort of underneath chassis rocks, other mechanical problems, and the fact that the chassis themselves, because of how heavy um, they are and how long they are, um, decided to bend as well. It was an issue that they had and um, with the examples that the um, first bus bought for Huddersfield where the chassis decided to start bending at the back and they looked quite lopsided near the engine bay. Um, so there were all these kind of issues. However, this one is still operational, um, the next Lovian example as well, um, as you can see with all the Lovian interior trimmings and the Lovian style seats that have been um, reupholstered. Um, and as you can see here, um, although it's having a few gearbox things, it does still sound incredibly nice. So showing a few more scenes we'll end up um, going over to Stafford and hopefully I'll speak a little bit more when we get to the rural bits because I'm very, very excited to see how this bus performs when we're going to the uh, rural surroundings um, just before Stafford itself.
on tight roads like this the inevitable has happened we've found a truck obviously it's quite interesting because as you can see it's all thin single track so there's not much um, they can do hopefully that truck will go into um, the gap over there because obviously our dad being a longer length SPD um, won't fit in there so hopefully there we go so it's like it's just like being back in Cornwall again um, very 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 weird although speaking of Cornwall um, these vehicles SPDs first kernel did have a number of them they did have about three or four of them back in the day and um, that were withdrawn about three years ago but anyway now the trucks over and done with we're about just over half an hour away from Stafford so enjoying all the tight country roads hopefully the 878 being a slightly different service will provide some different scenery for when we do the run back this afternoon FT06 ZTH number 26 for the run to Canuck on the 875. and things very very nice um, place in Stafford and um, but we're now on the 875 bus over to Canuck another select service this service um, runs every hour takes 50 minutes each way and has a peak vehicle requirement of two vehicles the other one I believe is also a commander so the plan is, is to go down to Canuck go on one of the local services to hopefully get one of the chase rider buses in as well and there's also a um, another select Dennis Dart running down there so we'll probably take that um, and then it's going to run up on the other commander on the other sort of half of the diagram. So you notice that this has a Reaver seat. Now this is an Exa Reaver example. Um, Select also have some Excent bus examples. Now I've also remembered that a few years ago, um, Select and Chase Rider weren't round here. They're both relatively recent names and sort of the big bus industry part. Select have been around for a while, but not run as many services as they do now. As this was part of the old Arriva business, you see all the Arriva stickers on the bus stops. And the like select bus took over part of the Arriva business. Then they've also gained vehicles sort of from Centre Bus, and then um, Chase Rider is like a, a joint operation, I believe, between D, maybe D and G, Centre Bus, and these. Again, do correct me if I'm wrong. And they have took over part of the um, like Arriva business. So it's all sort of quite confused. Companies have come and gone around here, but the basis, in fact, at the moment is select run quite a few ex Arriva routes using ex Arriva and Accentibus vehicles um, Chase Rider also run quite a few ex Arriva routes using ex um, transferred centre bus transfer from high peak vehicles stuff like that um, and then you've got Arriva who run the occasional like odd service into Stafford as well um, although they did use to run the entire network the only run a single route so it is quite cool on this bus as you'll have already seen I've zoomed into some of these stickers and things 
still some older Reva ones where they peeled off the older Reva name and some ones that they put on themselves about their own prices. But it is quite a cool, um, quite a cool bus and it's quite nice to go on a commander. Um, you don't get many commanders in public service nowadays. Um, obviously a Reva are slowly getting shut of them. So I'll show you a few more views. I think this is more like an urban service over to Canada, but I'll show you a few more views as we make our way over to the um, town itself. Thank you, see you later. Bye. So here we go in Canuck. Nice six stage coach dart. Select um, bus Dart 14. Um, it does sound quite tired. An NK56. It's X stagecoach in the northeast. So will have operated around the Sunderland, Hartlepool region most likely. Um, although quite ironically, even though they have just got rid of these and sold quite a lot of these off, transferred them and what have, they have just regained a load of older Dennis Darts from the Yorkshire region um, with those six wrenches on them. So this one itself is on the 23, the 23 runs hourly from 10am um, to 2pm so we'll use this bus more like that we'll go and um, we'll operate school runs in between and we're running on this and it runs from um, Canuck all the way through to sort of a housing estate bus station style lifting and um, to the north of the town where we're going to be jumping off and jumping on either 25, 26 or 62 or 63 service all of which run about every 15 minutes for every half an hour they take between 10 to 20 minutes to get back into Canuck so they run a lot more frequently um, and this run they're all run by Chase Rider this is run by Select Bus um, and sort of all run a lot more direct than this does this um, sort of snakes through the estates it's quite cool as well and that you can obviously use um, your Select Bus ticket now your multi-operator ticket on Chase Rider so it means that we can get the sort of Chase Rider bus back and get a bit of variety for the return trip um, it also does remind us, does this route um, of Fuller's the Boslo 78, we all know that's a popular service, Chesterfield to Hartington, for those of you watching from the Derbyshire region, um, and it very much is giving off um, 78 vibes with the use of a Dennis Dart, a service that runs only in the middle of the day, and a service that runs alongside a corridor that is served a lot more frequently by the more predominant operator in the town. Um, so it's very very weird vibes like that and it does go around the Tesco as well so yeah very very similar um, to that row so we are nearly there though as you can hear the bus is sounding incredibly tired um, from, so probably from doing all of these trips day in day out um, but yeah I'll show you a few more clips as we make our way over to the um, other bus station that we're going to before we make a trip back on a chase ride a bus of some sort of some capacity back to Canic Centre There goes NK56 EPR and we're somewhere near the five ways in. And then our bus back is our first and probably only chase rider bus of today. 179, one of the Exareva ones that they recently took over. Thank you. So here we are at Canuck, gonna have a little bit of a break and then gonna get the 875 back. So 23 mid route on the 875. Nice feature in the older style of Reva seats.
thank you. So here we are. We're going to cross over to that stop over there and then jump on the bus. Um, heading back to Wolves. And here is our bus to Coven. LK04 NMB, not the one that we were quite expecting. So we're currently near um, Coven and we've got about 15 minutes here. So LK04 NMB was not the vehicle I was expecting for this section. And by the looks of the timetables, it made it out like um, you had another bus here and then changed onto this to do the final run to Wolverhampton. But what actually happens is the 878 here is combined into a school service. So what you actually do is you end up doing the school run up to Coven and then as that finishes over of, of here that is the village just before Coven, um, you then, as that finishes, you then have a 15 to 20 minute break here um, before continuing um, to Wolverhampton. Um, obviously, um, it is a public service, an open door school service. It's quite a weird phenomena. And as you can see over there in the distance, um, there's the 877 um, that's coming around as well. So as that makes its move, so that's going um, back over to um, Stafford where we've come from. Um, this now also forms the last um, 878 and 877 service through to Wolverhampton. So I'll show you around a little bit um, in a sec when we jump on. But it is also the only operational double-decker bus at the time of filming with Select Bus. Um, they've had sort of three deckers including this one recently. They had another B7 that's off the road at the moment. And a Trident that's been off the road for about two months. Um, so they've never had many deckers running. But I believe this is the only decker that they have at the moment um, and it only operates this dedicated school run and the associated um, public service 8782 and for a wolf Hampton that comes with it. It's pretty cool really. So it still retains its middle doors as well that came in handy for parts of the school run, the school run being an incredibly busy service. So the middle doors were handy. And also a nice little cool feature, when you go and sit at the back and um, downstairs, is the nice transport for London Forster. Very, very nice to see this retained. Obviously on a school run you can kind of, school buses you can kind of get away with that. Um, however, when we went down to Cornwall and they still had the older London Forster than the Atlantic Coast to Enviro 400, that was a little bit strange. But with this, it's not too bad. So I think we've still got about 10 minutes here. And um, as I say, very, very nice and double-decker um, before we head back on this very, very tuneful B7 into Wolverhampton itself. And just like that, we're back in um, West Midlands and back in North and Wolverhampton. Um, the roundabout itself for the motorway that's just a bit further down there um, is the separation between the West Midlands and South Staffordshire. And although it's been a good day in Staff Staffordshire, it's quite funny that we've joined back into the West Midlands and North Wolverhampton and have immediately joined traffic going into the city centre. Um, and one thing I'm looking forward to is getting a photo of this. Um, when we stop in the city centre, um, as compared to all of the um, National Express West Midlands buses and the Arriva ones, uh, this will probably look a wee bit out of place. But hopefully not too long to all the centre now if this traffic clears. Thank you. So there we go, back in Wolves. So to summarise this video of the Staffordshire Bus Network review that mainly took a place around the Stafford and Cannock area. So that's basically the middle ground um, between places such as like Birmingham and the West Midlands and in between sort of Derbyshire and the Potter is this middle section. The middle section itself um, over the past few years has seen quite a lot of change, it's been quite turbulent around there. As Arriva, um, sort of Midlands North, used to operate pretty much the majority of the services in this region that were covered in this video. And over the past few years, sold most of it up, um, with Select Bus have, having taken on some services in the past few years, and Chase Rider being born out of the sale of um, Arriva, Middle and North to sort of the subsidiary share of Centrebus. So to conclude um, on this, it must be said that both operators that were looked at that were um, Select Bus and Chase Rider, that are the main two operators in the region, um, they're very, very good on punctuality. There's not a single bus that we went for that didn't show up. 
Some of them were late and there was quite a lot of roadworks, especially around the Canuck area. They were really, really suffering then because of that. But every single bus that was scheduled, even if it showed about five minutes later, so five to ten minutes late due to traffic, did all show up. And um, that's very, very good. The service coordination as well is also pretty impressive. And um, they do coordinate the services so you can choose between them. Um, there's quite good sort of like in, in the frequency side of things. Very, very impressed with that as well. So you can transfer between buses quite easily at the main interchange points. And finally, although it's the first bullet point um, on uh, the list, is the £5.70 multi-operator ticket at the time of filming had just launched at the end of April. There is going to be a separate video on this ticket um, to sort of prove how much you can sort of, how far you can travel with it. But the £5.70 multi-operator ticket is a new op like multi-op um, ticket between middle and classic, chase rider and select bus. It's a ticket that you buy um, as an adult for £5.70. If you want two of you want to go along, it's £7. And it comes with sort of the um, like QR code on the bottom. And you can scan it on all three operators' machines and travel on all three bus companies' buses. So basically for £5.70, um, and it will be something I will be demonstrating in a video very, very soon, so do look forward to it. Um, you can pretty much travel all the way from Burton-on-Trent, all the way to Wolverhampton, to Warsaw, um, to um, Utoxeter, um, very, very far afield for just £5.70, all inclusive for all three bus companies. That I think is incredibly impressive. So yeah, again, that will be covered in a separate video, but they're the main three bullet points of the region that were covered for our network review. And if you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. There are going to be a lot more videos from the Staffordshire region. This is just like my initial overview video. I'm going to be doing a lot more sort of focused on the routes, the vehicles, um, and other operators and things that exist, the tickets, for example. So do look out for all of those videos. I'm very, very excited to film them. I absolutely love the area. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this basic um, bus network summer video. And I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.